is to bless Greater St. Matthew that there were not room to hold them. Hmm. Uh, chairman of our homecoming brother Finley, he knows about that. He's been about the longest one been with us. History let us build that church and she told us to have a place for the people. You got to have room. And when lawyers that church in 72 and turned it around. History blessed that church and it outgrew that church. History told us to do something that I thought was so crazy, but since history told us we did. <laughs> Tore down the building, party, and built the wider church, yeah. which is now the fellowship hall. Yeah. 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 History blessed that church that we couldn't live in it too many, didn't have enough room, so we broke aside and put a wing to it. Mm. 1981. In 1986, we built that church that's standing on the corner of Dalton. We bought trusses, and we didn't have enough money to put the trusses up. There were people saying, we'll never get it up. History led us to a man asked to give us some money to build to put the trusses up. And when we left out the offering, he said that they built into, he has too many churches now, he can't help us. He hmm. hmm. told me to wake up and not disturb the old and get my horn and go into my closet, 11 p.m. on a Thursday. Hmm. I blew amazing breeze. All right now. All right now. I stayed in that closet until 6 that morning. Mm. Got up and went over to the church where I would walk around it. And God touched the same man that said he couldn't be here. Mm. Drove by the church and said, Booker, you must have been praying for me. Come on downtown, we're going to put the church up. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, my brothers and sisters, I'm trying to fast forward because I'm taking too much time. But it, you have to it'll take all day to tell it all. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. But Greater St. Matthew was not built on how much money it had mm -hmm. in the bank. Mm -hmm. Greater St. Matthew was built not only with sweat, mm -hmm. disappointments, but it was built by the favor of God. Yeah. 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 T.D. Jake said that favor is not fair. And when you look at who I am, you'll probably agree with T.D. Jake said it ain't fair. I wouldn't win an Oscar in the best preacher in history. I had a lot of children. It ain't fair. My bank account was not what it ought to be. But God touched people with favor. I'm not a priest, but it, a lot of us are sitting here on the cost of faith. Okay. Uh, right. You don't know it. All right, now. And you can't be done. Don't get the big head. God has found faith. History led us to build the existing church, 1989. During that time, the economy in Houston fell down. Not only Houston in America, and our lender, the company went solved. And you know, I'm glad it went solved because we didn't have all the payment anyway. <laughs> God got a way to help me. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And during the time of litigation. God blessed us to pick ourselves up. We went to that church, and our offering was horrible, mm. terrible. 
He didn't know what he was going to do, but history tells us that God always makes impossible possible. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I didn't tell too many people this, but I told some that the late Sister Booker, she, you know how she was, she wasn't, she would she dance all over the church. Yes, she did. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't talk a lot. Mm -mm. She just had a few people she run a mile, but she could run a mile. <laughs> she gave me a book that talked about giving. And I read that book. And I said, the Lord give me a message from that. I said, the people get mad. Because you they said, oh, Pastor William, you don't talk to people about money or they're mad. Because they're getting mad at you. <laughs> I said, well, they couldn't get mad at too much. Because they ain't got nothing anyway. <laughs> we preached two sermons in our offering. Double. We've had our ups and downs. We've had our good days and our bad. Yes. And a lot of folks are basking in the glory now. My church, our church, but I dare not have animosity. Oh. But I do know a lot of us know the glory, but don't know the story. Yeah. All right. All right. They don't know the tears that have been shed 50 years. And I'm not asking for sympathy because I'm fine. <laughs> I, when I get home, I'm going to take my shoes off and give me some more. But now I'm putting in barbecue out there. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is God has blessed great saints. That's right. Amen. Amen. He brought us a long way. Mm. And I'm so glad to see all those who are here. Some of you all, many of you all grew up at this church. Yeah, yeah. And some of you all went to other churches, which is fine. That's that's. Uh, nothing wrong with that as long as you're in a church. Yeah. That wouldn't matter, isn't that right? That's right. Some of you stayed with me. You stayed with me and helped us uh, to develop where we are. And some of you came. And this is what we call homecoming. Because number one, you cannot have homecoming without a home. Am I making sense? Right. 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 You got to have a home to have a homecoming. Right. Right. And God has blessed this church. The pastor didn't do this by himself. I know it's me being naive about it. It takes a team Amen. to do it. And I just want to thank God for those who have walked with us so that when you get ready to come home, when you're dressed to come home today, you had a home. To have a home, you got to find somewhere to put it. To have a home, you have to build something. To have a home, you got to sustain it. You can't build a home that's selling. You got to keep it. Because right, right, right. children don't come back. Yeah. Isn't that right? <laughs> this is why we're having a home coming. Because you're coming back home. Amen. So I want to welcome you and welcome you for coming. And we hope that this be a great day in, 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 in your life. Well, there's a lot of food out there, but we just going to have the spiritual food. We got a great preacher. So good to see my friend. But Tiara Weed was the founder of God's blessing. It's a blessing to have you. Amen. And I thank God as I take my seat that I, I can go home every day and rest knowing that Greater St. Matthew is in good hands with Pastor Ryan. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that. Okay? We poured all that we could into him. And some things you have to learn on the ground. You don't learn it all. You got to get out there and you know, put me a foot soldier. And I just want to thank you. If you're not a member of this church, pray for Greater St. Matthew. We're making a transition. This is Pastor Ryan's sixth month and taking over. He's doing good. And now I was working about 8 o'clock. If I won't sleep at 8 o'clock, I said, well, I ain't Pastor now. Right. <laughs> If you ask me a question that I don't want to answer, I say, call your pastor. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. This is a good life. So I want to thank you for all your love and all your kindness. And thanks again, Young of the Choir. I just love you all. I tell you. Michelle, Michelle, the lady that made that first song, she was one of the baddest child. <laughs> 